it's time to get stuck on magnets. What's our attraction to magnets? What's their attraction to each other? And can I use magnets to levitate and float in the air? All on this episode of Science Max Experiments at Large. So I've managed to levitate on some magnets, but just barely. What Matt and I needed was more power. So instead of having one shaft and one pair of ring magnets, we're going to use a larger board and put a shaft on each corner. Then we'll have four times the power because we're using four times the magnets. Hopefully this will be strong enough to get me floating on a cushion of magnetic energy. And magnets? Magnets. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is gonna work great. And top board. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what do you think? Looks great. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Matt? You're levitating. I'm levitating! Woo! -hoo! All right. It feels cool. It sort of like, it sort of feels like surfing a little bit. All right, thank you so much, Matt. That was amazing. And there you have it. Science Max, experiments at large, magnetic levitation. You know, I'm surprised we could do an entire episode on magnets and we never actually got them so close to the camera that the camera went all weird because cameras of magnets, they don't hold you. Uh-oh. Um, no, that's okay. I can, I can, I can fix this. If I just, maybe, you know, if, maybe if I put the magnet to the camera again, that would, oh, uh oh, okay, that's not, that didn't help. Oh, okay, well, thanks very much for watching uh, Science Max, experiments at large, and uh, we'll see you again uh, as soon as we, we get a new camera. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the power of magnets. 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 Okay. This one here is called a neodymium magnet, or a rare earth magnet.